but that's nothing. The worst part of it was. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hey there. How you doing? Doing great. Welcome to the show. <laughs> uh, well, I was just calling because I actually have had an experience with steroids. I know that not a lot of ladies have had experiences with steroids, so I figured mm-hmm. I'd call in and give my experience. Yes, um, I will tell you that I started doing steroids because of a guy. Okay. <laughs> my boyfriend was mm-hmm. very much into training, very much into, he was a state champ wrestler. Okay. So there was a lot of pressure for me to look a certain way. Mm-hmm. So he was already on it and I honestly could not keep up with him physically. Okay. Um, We would work out together and I just, I just couldn't keep up. I mean, I'm a woman and I'm not downplaying us ladies. Y'all don't get me, but I honestly just couldn't keep up. And he Mm. suggested it. He was like, well, you know, there's stuff for ladies that are not going to make you look too, you know, too tough. Because that's one thing I was worried about was, you know, looking like China, the wrestler. I did not want to do that. Right. So I started a cycle. And mm-hmm. I'm going to tell y'all, it was, it was awesome. Like I looked so mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. I could have been a fitness model. It was great. I was working out. I was able to keep up with him. Mm-hmm. I know um, somebody said something earlier about the blood vessels. Yes. I did notice that I had started getting more veins than I had. That's one thing that I did not like. I did not like yeah. that look. I don't like mm-hmm. it typically on guys. My boyfriend mm-hmm. at the time, he was lucky where he wasn't super, super veiny, mm-hmm. but I don't know, maybe just the way I am in my genetics that happened to me and I didn't like okay. it, but that's nothing. The worst part of it was the acne that got me. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I started developing acne on my back. I felt mm-hmm. it when I was in the shower and then I got out and I looked and I saw the beginnings of it. Okay. And that's what made me stop. Okay. That's what got me off. Wow. But I'm not going to sit here and pretend and say that if that hadn't happened, I don't think I would have gotten off until, God forbid, I don't want to, you know, what happened to this young man. I don't right. want that for me. Um, but, you know, and I was like, I was younger than him, actually, when I was doing that. I was in my early 20s, like 21. Okay. Yeah. It might have been a blessing in disguise then, basically, is what you're saying. You know, it's funny. I think so. I think God just was like, you're not going to stop on your own. Yeah. So I'm going to do this to you so Mm -hmm. you can get off of it because he already knows how vain I am. Yeah. So you start messing with my skin, it's over. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, looking at your profile picture, you're obviously a very pretty woman. (laughs) I'm sure you're looking prettier in in real life, right? So, I mean, that just shows how psychologically powerful this stuff is because you're a pretty woman and you looked hotter and even then you're like god damn this is incredible i look like you know wonder woman it's a black wonder woman <laughs> right i'm telling yeah. you yeah. it's addictive i was yeah. like i would love to sit up here and say oh no i had a bad experience and i you know well i did technically but yeah like the skin thing was it, but I'm mm-hmm. telling you, like I was, I was, I had energy. Mm-hmm. I was able to keep up with him. Mm-hmm. You know, it's funny. We would like be in the gym together and mm-hmm. I would be almost doing what he was doing. And oh, wow. I mean, it was just, it made our relationship better. Like I sound mm-hmm. like I'm advertising for it and I right. promise you I'm not, <laughs> Yeah, but it was, you know, it just made, it made things, be- it made things better. Yeah. I hate to say yeah. that, yeah. you know, we could relate, Mm -hmm. changed my diet we were eating the same thing and Mm -hmm. you know it was we were like really in sync when he was doing it by himself though it was like I didn't understand Mm -hmm. I didn't get it and I was like you know the injections and stuff because I'm scared of needles but I got over that really fast (laughs) okay okay so but yeah it's um it's something else I wouldn't I'm not gonna say I would do it again Mm -hmm. now that I you know I'm older Right. I'm in my thirties and everything. And I'm, you know, I just don't know if my body would like handle it the same now. Probably you know, not. Being in your twenties, your early twenties, like, you know, fresh. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. I don't know now, you know, and I don't think I would mess around with that again if mm-hmm. given the opportunity. 
even if God told me like, you know, you're not going to get the acne again, I don't still don't think I would try it now. Yeah. Because you know, the scariest thing wasn't, I mean, there's several scary things he said. And again, he's knows so much about this stuff, but there was a video I saw with a doctor. She was being interviewed and she brought up some very good points. She's like, again, you can't do labs for everything. Labs cannot show everything. Just forget steroids for a second. Just think of all the people every day that pass away, right? For something that went wrong. They were seeing their doctor, something unforeseen happened, or somebody has a thing, they go to the hospital and the doctor's like, oh crap, we found blah, 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 and they could do something. This is just normal living. Taking this other stuff increases the level of complexity to some level that we don't fully understand. When I hear doctors saying, they can't quantify, they don't fully understand. It's it's very sobering. And your story is very appropriate because again, looking at you, I'm guessing you, you know, you're obviously pretty. So genetically speaking, you have good genetics, right? And I guess it sounds like you're one of these good responders on top of things. So you're not like a regular person, for lack of a better word, in a good way. So even with your good genetics, you still had a breakout, right? Now, somebody else with less good genetics, who knows what's happening to them on the inside? You can't see that stuff. When I did the Batman video recently, the Patterson guy, right? He looked normal, for lack of a better I mean, normal. He was down to like 15, 16% body fat. I mean, that's around what I am now. Uh, the lowest I ever got was like N, right? So it's hard to do this that stuff naturally, which is why he looked the way he looked, doing it naturally compared to some other Hollywood person that is jacked out of their mind, right? And ridiculous. That's so <laughs> the true. Cartoon so looking, true. comic book looking figure, right? Either they have great genetics, which is not impossible, and or they're taking stuff, right? And some of them have admitted to things. It is what it is. But I mean, thank you so much for coming on and sharing this because it's one thing to talk about the theory of things. Granted, this video was pretty powerful, but hearing a live person say this, it's very eye-opening. Hopefully the ladies, I mean, are taking this in and the guys for that matter. Yeah, you know. You're so welcome. It's just, yeah. you know, at this point in time, when I, whenever I think about steroids, I think about a big buff guy, you mm-hmm. know, doing it. Even this uh, young man on this video, you look at him. I mean, he's like crazy massive. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie. You know, I'm not trying to be racist or nothing, but I mm-hmm. also think of like white guys, like big white guys. Yes. I'm a black woman and mm-hmm. I do real estate. I sell real estate out here in Mobile. Okay. And it's very competitive out here like you got to be just real cute and everything <laughs> you know um my avatar is my um oh my, uh, yes yeah. my, my thing so yes if y'all looking for houses in mobile hit me up but <laughs> <laughs> anyway um it's very it's it's real hard competing and you know being women anyway mm-hmm. we are based on i'm not trying to do kevin samuels up here but i'm just saying right. you know we're based on our look it had to do with my career you know right. me you know the way i look People mm-hmm. look at me. Do they want to like buy a house from me? Do they want right. me to sell their house? And then I have a boyfriend who also mm-hmm. is into it. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it, it's just a lot of pressure. And yeah. so there's there's another face to this stuff. And like I said, I'm not going to get up here and lie and say that I wouldn't do it. Uh, you know, I, I didn't do it. I did do it. Mm-hmm. I just wouldn't do it again based on like what happened to me in my age. But right. it's, I can't really blame another young black girl who's feeling the pressure for trying it. I remember my first coach, a bikini model, IFBB Pro, she, she said on the show, you know, said, look, some of these people, they take pictures at one time of the year. Like say summer, say the person peaks, they look as fantastic as possible. They take hundreds of pictures and they release them through. So when you're seeing a picture of this super hot lady or super handsome dude in December in their Christmas outfit, they took that picture in June. It don't look like that now. It's and all an illusion. Let me let you in on something. My avatar picture is two years old. Okay. I'm heavier okay. than that picture now. I'm just gonna be real with you. Okay. <laughs> so I know what it's I know what it is. You know, you yeah. take the pictures when you look good, your hair's done, yeah. your twist yeah. out is popping, you take those pictures and that's gonna be you for the rest of the year. I do that. <laughs> So I yeah. understand for sure. I hear, you. I hear you. And the acne thing is real, you know, I mean, because your hormones are all messed up, right? It's kind of like putting you back to your teenage years in a sense when you're breaking out and all of this kind of stuff. You know, there is a, a debate to do in a video, another one where there's a guy and he's very transparent and his back knee is like something out of a horror film. I'm not exaggerating, but I thought that may be a bit too much. I mean, just imagine like horror film stuff. That's, I don't know how else to describe it. Like if you look at the pictures, if I just showed somebody randomly, they would think it's fake. And the guy was like 16 or 18 or something, but he transformed. And I swear he looked from this regular slim dude, I don't know, 15, 16 to this 
this perfect physique, like comic book looking guy. Just looks beautiful. And I'm saying this in a non-gay way. He just looks flawless. And then like a month later, he had it on his back. Now back, his chest, his chest was all jacked up. And I remember thinking, mm-hmm. man, you go from a regular looking dude, he was slim, even relatively attractive guy, to this ridiculously attractive guy. And then you have this, his thing is jacked up and you're reading some of the messages saying like he's working out and he can feel it was bleeding. And I'm like, damn. I was ashamed too, because I didn't mm-hmm. want to tell my doctor like yeah. what I was doing. Yeah. And he was like, are you taking anything? And yeah. I'm like, no, yeah. but I know I am. <laughs> it's just like, it's just bad yeah. business. Cause it's like all yeah. around, you just got to lie to people. Cause you know what you're doing, but mm-hmm. you don't want to stop and you don't want to be judged. It's yes. just, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, because it's one of the things the guy talks about consistently is you can't do this stuff in a vacuum, right? It's like I said, you know, read a book in airplanes doesn't make you a pilot, right? So you need to be pretty nice or better yet be under the supervision of a doctor if you're doing this kind of stuff, right? Because of exactly what you just described. You're playing scientists in a sense, right? But you are you don't have a PhD in this stuff, right? And even if you did have a PhD in this stuff, it's pretty clear that this stuff is not fully figured out because they don't have clinical studies on this stuff because it's not ego. So thankful that you came on and shared this because I was I was worried that even with such a powerful story that some people are like, yeah, maybe, maybe not, blah, 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 blah. And to be honest, especially since you're a lady coming on and saying this, I think it's even more powerful, to be honest, because I think a lot of people think, oh, that can't happen to a woman. That's just a guy thing. No, 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 no. That's a human body thing. Absolutely. And you know how vain we are as ladies and then, you know, melanated people, we scar easier. So it's like I was so worried about that. So it's just the thing. And a lot of these women, I think, are doing something or doing some, but they're not, you know, they don't look as hard, but it just. I don't know. To me, it's just not worth it. I can't tell anybody what to do Mm -hmm. because I did it, you know, but I just it's just 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 work your butt off in the gym yeah. you know and and whatever your body is set to be whatever kind of you know genetics you got that's what yeah. you're going to get and you just got to be happy with it because it's just not worth it in the day look at this young man i mean i was just looking in his eyes when you were playing a video like yeah. he's not there anymore no. i mean he's there but he's not all the way there it's just no. like it's so sad and you know that could have been me you know i could have had yeah. a real bad reaction you know thankfully yeah. it was just a vanity thing where my skin yeah. was stuck but it, that could have been me and it's just mm-hmm. like it's just not worth it I agree and you know funny you talk about you look what your genetics are the fact is most people can look better than 99% of the people out there with just proper diet and working out so imagine your perfect physique right just imagine it in your head right now you can't get it. I don't care what it is. You cannot get it. But what you can get is a body that looks better than most people. There are a lot of women who would kill to look like that two-year-old picture. Right? Oh I mean, literally, they would kill to look like that. You're so, sweet. you know, you take these things for granted. Uh, so most people through diet and exercise can look better than the vast majority of people. Plus, you look better than your old self. I interviewed this lady who lost 150 pounds. And she said when she started regressing, it's like she had to remind herself that after losing 150 pounds, which is like a whole damn human, her old self would kill to look like her new self. Give give one of her, both of her breasts to look like herself, right? So she rem- reminded of herself a whole where she came from and then she started appreciating where she was now instead of trying to beat herself up. Oh, you got to get better and blah, 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 blah. Did you notice anything else? So you, the back knee was one thing. I thought about the positives. Did you notice anything? Well, you, psychologically, the positive, the way you felt self-esteem went up. Anything else? Any po- other potential negatives you noticed? I will say, I don't talk to my ex anymore, the guy. Yeah that got me into it obviously mm-hmm. but he would always tell me that I was kind of manly a little bit mm. I was like for example he would be he worked out of town like he would do shows yeah. and stuff out of town mm-hmm. okay. and he would like call me to pick him up now this is when I was cycling with him mm-hmm. and he would call me to pick him up and before I got on I would hop in the car and I would drive to the airport and I'd be there early mm-hmm. waiting at yeah. the gate and everything mm-hmm. when I was on it I was like dude you could just like like, take a taxi. Why do I need to come get you? And I feel like, I feel like that's a dude response. And yeah. he said that to me. He was, you're, you changed. And I'm like, why? How do you mean? He's like, I don't know. You're yeah. just, you're, you're kind of guy-ish now. You know what I mean? Okay. And, that's interesting. 
Wow. I was like, yeah. you know, and I'm very girly. So yeah. when he said that, I was like, I almost wanted to fight him. But honestly, yeah. that might even be part of the problem <laughs> that I wanted to fight him, that he was telling me I was manly. But yeah, I could say that probably. And I mean, I didn't think so, but he noticed it. And I think he may have been correct. I'm not going to say I was short tempered because I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not typically. I, I have to right. work with a lot of people because of my job and everything. Mm-hmm. But maybe I was a little bit less patient with okay. people. If if you're talking about the downsides and yeah, mm-hmm. maybe my attitude kind of changed a little bit. Okay. I wasn't as patient and I was just like not ready to deal with BS, you know? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So yeah, that actually makes sense. Another to- thing I was worried about was that it was going to mess with my cycle, which it did not. Well, I was, was still good. regular. So that that's good. That's good. Yeah. It can definitely mess with men's fertility for sure. Because again, it shuts down your natural production. So yeah, that can, that can mess you up. Because from what I understand, once you go on that stuff, you start on that path, you're permanently on that path. So, you know, it can potentially negatively impact your ability to have children. I'm sure you can still do, I'm sure there's things people can do or whatever, but yeah. Oh my gosh. I just read a comment Mm -hmm. (laughs) in, um, in your chat. She's yeah. Um, I can't say your name, ma'am. I'm so sorry, but she asked, did I find shopping annoying? Funny thing. Mm. I have always loved shopping and mm. I I did notice like I would drag him with me. Yeah. I started like online shopping and just buying stuff. And I was like telling myself, well, I'm a size four now. I got mm. biceps, triceps, <laughs> hamstrings and all that. It's going to yeah. fit. I don't need to go to the store anymore. Yeah. But I really think it was like, I just didn't want to, I just didn't want to shop anymore. I didn't want to do stuff like that, that I used to love to do. Again, like my logic was like, I'm hot. So it don't, Mm -hmm. it doesn't matter, whatever. I'll put it on and it'll fit and it'll look good. But I think honestly, now that I reflect on it, that my Mm -hmm. patience probably for like going rack through rack and trying, I just didn't have time for that. I didn't want to do it. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Now that I'm reflecting, I haven't talked about this honestly with anybody in a long time. So talking about it is like jogging memories. Mm-hmm. And now that I'm talking it out, I, he, I'm sure he's not listening, but he probably yeah. was like, I was manly. I was. <laughs> you can't even take me to the mall. Like my boyfriend now was like, I'll see you in three hours because he knows I'm going to be gone. I'm okay. going to be gone. <laughs> yeah. So it sounds like from what you're saying that, yeah, man, it really kind of tweaked with you, your personality type, it sounds like. Because you sound this bubbly, girly, girly, like in your own words, girly, girly type. But it's like you look even more girly and hotter, but you were, became less girly in other ways, is what it sounds like you're saying. I did. I did. And I'm an AK ski. So, okay. yeah. That, yeah, that, <laughs> that definitely was um, a thing. I, I definitely think now, like I said, I reflect back on it. It did do something to yeah. me. But, you know, again, I would never want to tell him that because that was a point of contention. Mm-hmm. I just didn't have it in me. And then yeah. I started seeing changes in my body. My, my I mean, I had a six pack and oh, it wow. went to four to two to just a flat tummy. Okay. So, um, you know, and I'm thankful for the flat tummy, but it was yeah. nice to see the, you know, the muscular. Yeah, That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that I definitely, you know, my musculature went down. And I mean, I guess I did also change. We stopped dating and I was back at the mall. So <laughs> <laughs> that probably was it too right right so yeah that's that was the thing because a couple of people ask various versions of these questions like you know can you just do a couple cycles get the benefits it almost reminds me of but with these things it's not that simple right it's like a stair-step approach so you'd have to have, say you were here and then you moved up to here ernestine you'd have to then do another cycle and another and another so when you have the drop down you drop down maybe from your six pack to your four pack but if you gradually just stay off the stuff eventually you will keep reverting back that is true. Wow. Right? It does change you, even on a genetic level. So, for example, if somebody does steroids, right? I remember this came up as a factor in, say, UFC or maybe it was boxing. And years later, they stopped taking that stuff. They've already changed. So, for example, for you, when you work out now, your body's going to respond better than as if you had never taken steroids. Like certain changes have occurred at a genetic level that makes you more responsive to stuff, for lack of a better word. I mean, just <laughs> any kind of stimulation, like regular working out compared to the pre steroid use. It changed it to genetic level. It's kind of like the same way. I mean, not saying athletes taking steroids, but the same way you see a professional athlete and they get out of shape and then they go touch. They look at the gym and they, they look fantastic. It it happened. But I know if I got serious, you know, mm-hmm. again and got back in there, I could. I'm not going to say I could get back to steroid level because I was right. I was beautiful. 
Yeah. But I can I could definitely look fantastic, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean I was about to say you still look great. And yeah, fant- you know, fantastic is better than 99% of the women out there, right? You gotta remind yourself of that. There is better than most of the people out there, and then there's this next level where you're talking like this ridiculous Instagram level. Do we really need to be that hot or that handsome? If you get back working out, get the dad right, you can get back at 31 to a super duper hot level. Is it going to be as easy as when you were taking this off? No, definitely not. So that's that wasn't a figment of your imagination. Thanks, Ernestine, for that. That was unexpected and, yeah, very enlightening. Uh, very enlightening. Thanks so much for that. I appreciate that. Because you are determined to transform your body, you made it to the end of this video. To get more tips about how to look great and feel even better, check out one of these videos you see on the screen. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. So later's my massive. Me now. For those who don't speak Jamaican Patois, that's goodbye, my people.